Hi, I'm Maxim, and I'm a PhD student at Ecole Polytechnique and in RIA. And today, I'm really thrilled to introduce you to our joint work with Alain Couvreur and Thomas de Brice Salazar, entitled On Codes and Learning with Errors Over Function Fields. In this work, we focus on search to decision reductions for structured variants of the decoding problem. Search reductions are useful for cryptography because many cryptographic primitives or different applications rely on the hardness of the decision version instead of the usual syndrome decoding problem. But first, let me give you the intuition behind search decision reductions. If I give you a picture of many people and I ask you, is there a world on this picture? How would you solve this problem? Well, you will probably look for Waldo uh, on this picture for, let's say, one minute. And if you are able to find him, you will say, yeah, there is Waldo on this picture. On the other hand, if you can't find it in this minute, then you would say, well, with high probability, there is no Waldo on the picture. In other words, in order to tackle the decision problem, is there Waldo in the picture? You try to solve the computational version, finding Waldo. And this is a very natural strategy, because more often, uh, search problems, computational problems, are easier to analyze and to understand than uh, their decision counterpart. However, the latter may be strictly easier, and therefore, one needs to be very careful when instantiating crypto systems based on the hardness of the decision problem. For example, it is well known that decision diffie is easy in some instantiations, in some groups, while the computational version is still believed to be hard. For instance, for elliptic curves and dot with pairings. Therefore, Search decision reductions are here to bridge search and decision problems in order to um, understand um, more precisely the hardness of decision problems. In post-quantum cryptography, and especially for codes and lattices, it has been proven that both versions are equivalent in the unstructured case. More precisely, for decoding uh, problems, uh, Fisher and Stern proved in 1996 that if I give you a binary vector and I ask you whether it is completely random or uh, it is a noisy code word of some random code, mg plus e, if you're able to tell me that, then uh, you can recover the message. In lattice-based cryptography, especially for LWE, um, it, has, it has been proved by Regaf in his O5 famous paper that uh, both LWE problems are equivalent. Nevertheless, modern crypto systems rely also on structured variants such as ring LWE or module LWE, for which there exist reductions using tools from algebraic number theory. On the code base setting, though, it is a long-standing open problem to find such reductions for structured codes, for instance, for quasi-cyclic codes. In this work, we build upon an old analogy between number fields and function fields to provide a general framework to give uh, such reductions. This yields the first reductions for structured codes and also proves assumptions made to design efficient pseudo-random correlations generators, or PCGs, in multiparty computation. If you are interested in learning more about this topic, come attend the talk on Tuesday afternoon during the coding theory session in Santa Barbara. I will be excited to discuss it further with you in person. You can also check out the paper on ePrint. Thank you for watching.